Hi, my name is Bob and welcome to the homestead, y'all. Well, today we're going to work on some wind chimes. I'm going to restore these wind chimes. I bought them at a yard sale, I think it was last October, uh, 20 bucks. These are inch and a half diameter wind chimes, so they're pretty big. This is the biggest set that uh, we have. Uh, we love our wind chimes. Um, I'm going to show you how to take this apart. Somebody's just tied the string up here. We're going to go ahead and rough up the paint and give it a new paint job. Uh, the, the clacker in the center here, it's a rough shape, the paint just peeling off. So I think I'm gonna scrape that off and give it a good coat of sealer. I don't think I'm gonna paint it. I think I'm gonna scrape it and sand it and then seal it with some wood sealer, maybe like a cedar color or something, give it a little different color. It was originally painted black, uh, but if I don't do something with it, it's gonna start splitting. I'm gonna have to make a new one. I have some new crimps. Uh, the string here, you can see they just have them tied on. I'll show you a little better. I'm gonna take this outside and put it on a shepherd's hook and give you a better look at it. And then we'll just take it apart. And like I said, we'll rough these up, put a new coat of paint on it, put it back together, give it a good tuning. And I think we'll have a wind chime that'll last us the rest of our life. Yeah, so this gives you a good idea of the size of this. It's uh, about five and a half feet long. Uh, these pipes are over two feet long, most of them are, but the total height from it it's out here on a shepherd's hook is, is around five and a half feet. This has a beautiful sound to it. You can see how they have them hung now. They're not uniform at the top or the bottom. And that way the striker can hit at different positions on each of these tubes and it'll make a different tone, a different sound. Uh, this has a beautiful sound to it. The bigger the pipe is, the prettier the sound is to me, the deeper the sound. Uh, the smaller diameter the pipe is, the higher pitch sound it is. Uh, so this has a good low deep uh, sound to it. Now I do have some two and a half inch pipe, aluminum pipe, that I'm going to make uh, my own wind chimes later on in the year and I'll make a video on that. But for now, all I want to do is get, preserve these wind chimes, get them taken apart, uh, get a new fresh coat of paint on them. There's a few spots that there's a little bit of rust, not much. I'll sand that rust off before we paint them. I don't know, some of this paint is on here pretty good. It's not really flaking, so I don't think I'm going to put a coat of primer. I'm just going to use the spray paint. And same with the aluminum chimes. I'm not going to put a primer on these. I'm going to leave the original on there and just give them a new coat of paint. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our new clips, our crimps uh, to put on here instead of tying them on. We're going to loop that and crimp it on. And we're going to even the tops of them out and see how the tone sounds, see how it changes. But let me just hit one of these and let you hear it. So as I hit different ones, you can hear the different sounds that they make. It just, they make a beautiful sound. And the longer they are, the longer they'll vibrate. So the sound will carry for a lot longer when the wind blows. Now this one has a metal sail on it. Uh, it's a heavy metal sail. So you can see when I drop it, it's pretty heavy. So this takes a pretty good wind for it to, to clang against the, the pipes, but this center part, you can see the paint just peeling right off. So if I don't fix this soon, then I'm gonna have to make a new one and replace this. So that's why I wanna go ahead and get this done. Uh, I've had it hanging in the barn all winter. I haven't had it out and I'm excited to get it finished, to get it all cleaned up and get it out here hung underneath a tree to where we can enjoy it this summer. Okay, the first thing I want to do is take the striker off. And to do that, I'm going to take two pair of needle nose pliers and just bend this piece of jack chain out a little bit. Uh, I don't want to bend it a lot. I just want to open it up enough to where I can get this striker out. If I can get them both in there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to 
take that piece because we're going to need it to connect it back. Now, we'll take the piece of jack chain off the bottom of this. We'll do it the same way, and then we can clean this striker up. Clean our chimes up. What we're going to do on these, I've got a piece of scotch bright, and I'm just going to rough them up. And what that'll do, that'll clean off this paint, and it'll give it a little bit of a rough surface for our new paint to stick to. But we'll give him a good roughing and cleaning. And then we'll wipe this clean. So I'm going to take all these off. I'm going to do every one of them the same way. I'm going to rough them up. And then we're going to do the same thing up here on the top. And I'll show you that in just a minute. back together. Let's see how they sound. That's a beautiful sound. They sound great. I have them all lined up now, shortest to longest. Kept all the tops even. So they each give a different sound since they're different lengths that's striking them in a different place. <clears throat> now you can stagger these. You can make one taller and shorter so that way it strikes it at a different place from the axle itself. Um, and that would give it a little bit different sound. Like I can hold a couple of these up. the sound of having them all even. That sounds great to me. If you have any questions or comments on these wind chimes or redoing a wind chime, please leave them below. 
And as always, thanks for watching.